Hey guys, it is Mrs. Casillas here. We are going to talk about solving multi-step equations today. We're going to answer the question, how do I solve equations with like terms and the distributive property? So first thing we want to do is simplify both expressions on each side of the equal sign. So an equation is when you have something set equal to something. You need to check both sides to see if they are simplified. So we're kind of going to treat it like two separate expressions first. We are going to distribute if there are parentheses and then combine like terms on the same side of the equal sign. And then once we get to that point, it'll be a two-step equation. So we will add or subtract to remove the constant and then multiply or divide to remove the coefficient. So let's start with number one, three X plus 10 X minus six equals seven. So I want to look at this side first. I'm going to think of that as an expression first. That is not simplified. We could combine like terms to simplify it. So I'm going to combine the 3x plus 10x and I get 13x and then I'll bring down the minus 6. There is no way to simplify that and then equals 7. That's already simplified. So we're done with the simplifying. Now I just need to isolate the x. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides and I get 13x equals 13. And then my last step to get x by itself is going to be to divide by 13. So x equals 1. All right, let's look at number 2. So this side of the equation, the left side is obviously not simplified. I need to combine some like terms. So negative 4x minus 3x is negative 7x. And then negative seven plus four is negative three equals the other side is already simplified at 25. Now this is a two step equation. I'm going to remove this constant. I'm going to make a zero with that negative three by adding three. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So then I'm left with negative seven X equals 25 plus three is 28. And then we'll divide by negative seven and get x equals negative four. Okay, let's look at number three. So this side of the equation, the left side is not simplified and I have parentheses. So that means I need to distribute to simplify. So I'm gonna distribute this negative five. So I'm gonna bring down the 15, that's not a part of the distributing. And then negative five times four x is negative 20 x. And negative five times negative seven is positive 35. And that's going to equal 50. Okay, I still have one more step to simplify this left side of the equation. I need to combine 15 and 35 and 15 plus 35 is 50. So I get 50 minus 20 X equals 50. Okay, now this is a two step equation. I'm gonna remove this constant. That's a positive 50 since there's no negative sign in front of it. And to make a zero with a positive 50, I'm going to subtract 50 from both sides. And I get negative 20 X equals 50 minus 50 is zero. And then we will divide by negative 20 and zero divided by anything or zero divided by negative 20 is zero. So X equals zero. All right, let's look at number four. I have distributing again. I'm going to distribute this negative one third to the numbers inside the parentheses. So negative one third times nine X is negative three X. Negative one third times 42 is negative 14. And then I'm going to bring down the negative 5x equals negative 70. Still not simplified on this side yet. I need to combine like terms. So I'm going to do negative 3x minus 5x, which combined equals negative 8x minus 14 equals negative 70. Now I want to remove that negative 14. So I'm going to add 14 to both sides. And I get negative 8x equals negative 70 plus 14 is negative 56. And then I'm going to divide by negative 8. And negative 56 divided by negative 8 is positive 7. 
All right, let's go to number five. I have a proportion. I have two ratios set equal to each other. So there are several ways to solve proportions. What I'm going to do to solve this proportion is cross multiply. So two times x plus three. This is not just two x plus three. I'm not just multiplying the x by two. I am multiplying that entire x plus three. By two. So that's how you need to write it with parentheses. And then 7 times 12 is 84. Okay, now I can solve the rest of this by distributing. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 3 is 6, and it equals 84. And then I'm going to remove the constant, subtract 6, and I get 2x equals 78 and then my last step is to divide by 2 so x equals 39 all right let's look at number six I have two sets of parentheses so I'm gonna have to do two separate distributive properties so let's distribute the 7 to this first group. 7 times 3r is 21r. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. On this one, I'm going to distribute the negative sign, or you could think of it as distributing an invisible negative 1. So negative 1 times r is negative r, and then negative 1 times 5 is negative 5, and it equals negative 52. All right, next step is to combine like terms. 21r minus r is 20r. And then negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12, and it equals negative 52. Now I want to remove the constant, so I'm going to add 12 to both sides. And I get 20r equals negative 52 plus 12 is negative 40. And then my last step is to divide by 20, and I get that r equals negative 2. All right, let's look at number seven. It says the perimeter of the rectangle below is 22. Find the value of x. So let's write our equation first. To find the perimeter, we just add the four sides together. They gave us two sides and the opposite sides are congruent. So this side is also 3.5x plus two. And then this side is also 1.5x minus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms before I write my equation so I don't have to write out that really long expression. So I know I'm going to add these four sides together. So let's just combine like terms now. 3.5x plus 1.5x plus 3.5x plus 1.5x. 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3 and then 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7, and 3 plus 7 is 10. So I have 10 x's. And then let's combine the constants. 2 minus 1 is 1, plus 2 is 3, minus 1 is 2. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 10 x plus 2, and they told us that perimeter was 22, so I can set it equal to 22. And now I just have to solve this two-step equation to find the value of x. I would subtract 2 from both sides, and I get 10x equals 20. So that means that x equals 2. All right, last one, number 8. It says find x if the area of the rectangle is 88. So remember, area of a rectangle is length times width. So I'm just going to multiply the length and the width together and make sure that we are doing 2 times all of x plus 2, not just 2 times x. So it'll be 2 times x plus 2 equals the area of 88. I told us up here the area is 88. And now I'm going to use the distributive property and I get 2x plus 4 equals 88. And then I subtract 4, and I get 2x equals 84. And then I divide by 2, and I get that x equals 42.